Okay, today I'm going to tie a Tups Indispensable. It's um, a well-known fly. I've already started the silk. I've waxed it and started it. But I just want to talk a little bit about the fly. It was invented by a Mr. R.S. Austin from Tiverton. He was a, a tobacconist, a keen fisherman, and he tied flies in his spare time. He actually tied them commercially. Um, but it was named by Mr. Skews. Mr. G.E.M. Skews, the famous fisherman of the uh, Itchen uh, Chalk Stream. Uh, it, can be, it can be fished wet or dry, and it's just as good on mountain streams as on chalk streams. And the other thing is, it can be fished right throughout the season. It's good for trout or grayling. And it's sort of designed to imitate the, um, the pale watery uh, fly or other light bodied flies. Uh, the tail is a cock, cock hackle which is a sort of blue dun type of colour. So I'm going to tie that on now. You see with the tail I always keep a bit of pressure towards you which um, levels it up because there's a tendency for things to to turn over and if you want to you can always give a wind underneath which spreads the tail a little bit okay that's the tail on and i'm now going to remove this rubbish this surplus to make things a little bit easier to see where we're going okay now the fly has got a little yellow tip a sort of a little yellow butt on it um, which I think is designed to imitate an egg sac. Now normally I would um, well the recommendation is to make the tip out of the tie-in silk but I, I'm using this yellow bit of floss because it's it's a bit more yellow it gives that little bit of a, a yellow colour Okay, wind back down to secure this yellow tip. Now, I've seen this fly tied various ways and various tie-ins by different people. And they're all pretty effective, really. But um, most of them do a half body of yellow. But I understand from uh, um, my friend Harry Carville that the tip should be it should just be a tip and any other way is, is wrong and Harry knows his stuff <laughs> okay now I'm going to dub on the uh, the body which is a very interesting mix it's from the under parts the original pattern from the under parts of a ram and the um, it's mixed with some yellow um, spaniel fur and some seals fur with uh, bits of um, other, other fur mixed in well of course we can't get that original stuff today so we, we're using a substitute here which is which is very good I've used it and it's it's just as effective it's important that it's got this sort of pinky reddish color about it and um, it's a it, it's it's a it's a nice body on the fly. Very effective. I don't know why it's uh, such a good um, color for a fly because there's not many colors in nature like this. But this is a very well known fly. It's a simple ish fly. Quite easy. Not many ingredients. And um, the hackle, the head hackle, there's no wings. I've seen it with wings, but the head hackle is a honey, it's called a honey dun hackle, which hasn't been, it's not very easy to obtain. Uh, I don't know if I've got the, quite the right colour here, which I've been using for years. And I, I, um, I find that this honey colour, this one I'm using now, is, is pretty good. But I have seen it with 
other hackles. I've seen it with the blue dun hackle, which which again is very very good. Okay, I'm going to tie on the hackle figure of eight that way and this way. This gives I'll give two crosses, I'm tying it over crossways to get the hackle on sort of square. Now I'll tie down the stalk like this, and I'll nip out, I'll take myself to the front and I'll nip out that little bit of stalk there. I'm sure you can see that. Okay, just simply wind the hackle now. It's a very light sort of gingery hackle. Honey down it's called. Uh, not easy to get, but um, I've got one cape which is a, a saddle cape and I'm uh, very pleased with it and I treasure it. Okay, let's secure this hackle. Oops, I'm a bit restricted because of the camera lens. I can't get the full wind of my silk as I would like it, but um, we'll cope, we'll manage all right. Okay, just nip off this piece of surplus. And this is one advantage of a saddle cape. These long hackles you can use to tie more flies. Right, I'm going to finish off with the head. You can see this quite a simple, but a yet an attractive fly. Now I'm going to push these hackles back a bit. This is my uh, tool, my cotton bud tool. I've cut the end off and smoothed it off. Uh, push things back like that. Tie them back a bit. Like that. But I will also show you how to do a half hitch on a fly like this wrap it around and you'll see it sliding down that's why we don't want any rough bits on it I'll do that again wrap it around over the eye slide it down now that exposes the head nicely for me to do my uh, whip finish you could finish off with half itches it's pretty good but the whip finish is better. See, I'm giving about three winds. That's it. Dubbing needle into the loop. Draw it up and remove it. And that's the fly finished, really. Cut the silk and varnish the head. Put a little bit of varnish on my dubbing needle and I touch the head and I roll the, the, roll the needle around a bit to get it in like that. Sometimes I go back and put some more varnish on the next day after 24 hours when the um, varnish has gone solid and of course as usual we clear the eye nice fly very useful good real good fly famous fly now can you see that little yellow tip in there that's important. Most flies, most of these tups, are tied with the um, the yellow halfway. Uh, I understand that that's wrong, as I said earlier. Okay, thanks for watching that. That is the tups indispensable, and um, it's a fly I really recommend.